that all down. Let's get things rolling here, shall we? And let's start off with this. In the long list of films in my life that I've thought were stupid ideas, but I ended up loving them, was the 21 Jump Street films. I had no idea what they were even thinking when they were doing it. Like, nobody talk. It's not like it has a big place in the pop cultural consciousness, the 21 Jump Street stuff. And who cares? Channing Tatum at that point wasn't even that good of an actor. Like, and whatever. I, I just thought it was a dumb, lame idea. And then... That's why you leave your expectations at the door and you go watch it because those movies are so good. The 21 and 22 Jump Street movies are so great. And we've all kind of been waiting for a 23 Jump Street. Now, you guys will remember that during the big Sony leaks a bunch of years ago, it was discovered that they were looking at developing a 21 Jump Street and Men in Black crossover, right. which was going to be called MIB 23, <laughs> right? That didn't happen. But apparently they kept working on it and, and try to come up with other ideas. Nothing ever happened. And so it's kind of been lost and forgotten. But in a recent interview, Channing Tatum has revealed that one, they're still kind of trying and that him and Jonah Hill both very much want to do a 23 Jump Street. Uh, this is what Channing Tatum had to say in an interview. There is a project that was written and it's still the best script that I've ever read for a third movie. It's just a lot of bureaucracy, kind of above the line stuff. It's really hard to get it made and we've been trying to get it done. You know what? I'm going to put some good juju out there and I'm going to say, I would love to see 23 Jump Street. I would love to do it with Jonah and Jonah, I know, wants to do it. We would love to just go play again. That again comes to us from Channing Tatum. Okay, a couple of interesting things there. One, that apparently a full completed third script got done. Neat. Secondly, he said, we've been trying to get it made. But the third most interesting thing to me about this was the Jonah Hill comment, because I'll be honest with you, over the last couple of years, whenever somebody kind of brings up the possibility of a third 23 Jump Street, I usually go, I would love to see it. I think Tatum would be down for it, but I don't think we're going to see it because I get the feeling Jonah Hill's not interested. I get the feeling Jonah Hill's all about trying to just be seen as this dead serious actor now. He's a multi-Academy Award nominated actor, by the way. I know that's weird to think about. Jonah Hill is a multi-time Academy Award nominated actor, and he just kind of wants to be focused on that, I suppose. But according to Tatum, both he and Hill really want to get it done. And I'll tell you what, I think not only would this be a fun idea, I think Hollywood needs this movie. Because in the last couple of years, with the exception of some really big standouts, it's been a struggle for comedies the last bunch of years, right? And again, we've had a few really good standouts. Uh, just recently, Glenn Powell and, um, oh, uh, uh, Anyone But You? Oh, yeah, that, Anyone But that You. That was the name of it? Mm -hmm. Anyone But You. Really good. Uh, Joyride, I still think the best comedy I've seen in a bunch of years. So there have been a few standouts, but it's been tough. I've never met a person, although I'm sure they exist, because that's the art of movies and subjectivity. But I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever talked to a person that said, didn't care for the 21 Jump Street movies. Didn't like them. And again, I'm sure there are people who didn't like it. That's the nature of art. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I've never personally talked to anybody that said, yep, yeah, yeah, those 20, 20 Jump Streets, not for me. I, I, they just seem to tickle the right spot for everybody. And I still contend, right up there with... Evil will always triumph because good is dumb. And where are the white women at? In a top five funniest moments ever in movies, top five, top six, top, six, top, top seven, in there somewhere, is the moment from 22 Jump Street when Channing Tatum realizes that Jonah Hill was sleeping with Ice Cube's daughter. That <laughs> When they do that little bing sound, yeah. bing! And oh, I it's like, well, I it, very, very few times in my life have I laughed that hard? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised that tick, tick, tick in the in the Bing. I bet you that only came about in the edit edit process. Oh, 100%. I bet the director was like, let's add a ticking, like a clock and then a ding. Which was kind of a fourth wall. Yeah. Kind of a moment that they don't do too often. But that tick, 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 bing. <laughs> it was just, it was so perfectly executed. Uh, of course, Lord and Miller did those movies. Right. And I would personally love 
to see them come back. It's also one of those rare, insta rare instances where the remakes, in this case, the movies, because there was an original 21 Jump Street show, sure. way better than the original. Like, I don't look, no offense to anybody who are fans of the original 21 Jump Street. I watched a little bit of it when I was a kid, too. They're they're perfectly fine. They're, they're very 80s. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly fine. Perfectly good. I'm not trashing on them whatsoever. But the movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way better. Way better. Way better. They What an odd couple uh, Hill and uh, Tatum are, too. Like, um, Even yeah. more so today than they originally and, were. And, and I, I'm... I'm I totally love it. I love their um the way they uh, their chemistry. Their together. chemistry's great. Jonah Hill to me when he does like comedy, I I find him very hilarious. Like I love his oh, yeah. delivery on things. Like he's so monotone sometimes and just like straight face that I find that hilarious. The best example of that that monotone part of him was the first time I think most of us ever saw him. He has a small part in what I think is the best comedy ever made, which is Forty Year Old Virgin. He's got a very very small part. I don't know if you guys remember it, when he shows up in the We Sell Your Stuff on eBay store <laughs> and he's got the boots with the goldfish. He goes, yeah. and he's just so monotone. He's like, I'd like to buy these, please. She goes, no, no, you can't actually buy things in the store. We just sell everything in here on eBay. So you can go bid on it. But I I, I just want to give you some money and take these <laughs> boots. It's just, I, the, guy is, the guy turned to great. And, and by the way, since 21 Jump Street, both Channing Tatum, who I contend prior to doing 21 Jump Street, wasn't even a good actor. He's evolved so much to become an actor I really look forward to seeing in movies now. Jonah Hill has clearly done nothing but get better. Obviously, this would be a more expensive film to make today than it would have been a few years ago, but I would love it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle Sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Channing Tatum is saying he would love, he and Jonah Hill would love to make a 23 Jump Street. Do you think they've got the cachet to pull it off? Would you even want to see it? I know I would. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.